name's Campbell Wallace, and I had a double lung transplant in uh, December 2012. My book, Second Chance, is uh, what I'm promoting, and uh, in there you'll find all the details of my journey to transplant. Someone has to die before I, I could live. Basically, I got round it by the fact that that person had uh, asked as our last wishes for part of their bodies to be given to the, the donor register so that they could then help people like me. It, it felt really strange being able to breathe again. I, I never really felt I couldn't breathe, but suddenly uh, I, I, was, I was transformed. Like, you know, the, the, my whole body was being transformed. It, my lungs were oxygenating my blood. The blood was oxygenating the rest of my organs in my body. In that time, it was somebody else's organs are doing this for me. Like, but now, it, these are mines now. They, they don't belong to anybody else but me. Um, and it's, it, it doesn't really feel any different. Like, uh, it, it feels different in the respect of um, I can now breathe, I can now do things that I couldn't do four years ago. Like, I've got the energy that I had 20 years ago. And if, if you look at the pictures on the back page of uh, my book, Second Chance, uh, and the pictures that I'm here with today, then these yeah, make such a difference. Uh, yeah, and you will see the difference in me. Like, I weighed 47 kilos when I had my transplant, uh, and I weigh 72 kilos now. Yeah, I've got to take drugs for the rest of my life, but I've got a life to be taking them for, so it's, uh, it's, worth, it's worth every time. Fear, I think, is something that everybody reacts to differently. What scares one person doesn't necessarily scare another person. I think I was, I was very positive, and remaining positive throughout it all uh, is, is a big plus as to how to, to go about coping with it. Up until uh, I had my first uh, call for transplant and I got to hospital and I was, I was there, I had needles in me, I was shaved, I had my hospital gown on ready to, to go to theatre and they, they came back and they cancelled the operation like then I was scared. I thought, you know, you've missed it, you've, took, you've blown your chance. Uh, and it, it really took the wind out of myself because I was so positive through it all. And being positive is the only way to approach this. Like, if you let Mr. Negative in, you've got a big, big problem. Uh, because you'll find everything's a, a journey and everything's a hassle and everything's it's just, it's not worth it. And you'll lose, and sure enough, Boxing Day. Um, it was, and I was, I was really, I was going downhill. I was struggling to keep weight on. They'd already taken me off the transplant list at one point because they said I wasn't fit enough, I wasn't heavy enough to cope with the post-op recovery. Hey, bingo, that was it. Third time lucky, uh, and I've, I've never looked back since. It's, it's just been a, a fantastic journey, and that was one of the reasons that I've done the book Second Chance, like, which uh, hopefully will help people who, not necessarily facing transplant, but but are facing serious surgery, like, and how to. I'm not saying my idea was the best, it's the way that everybody will work, I'm not saying that, but what I will say is you need to keep that positive approach to it.